What's up, you crazy wasteland freaks? And welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare, here for another quickie. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today, well, this is an oddball flick, but one that's highly enjoyable. The movie I'm talking about is Nicholas Wentworth's 1985. That's a good year. I was five when this came out. 1985, bizarre, post-apocalyptic uh, action-adventure. The movie I'm talking about is She. Ooh, 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 where am I? She. Put that chick up there. But yep, this is a post-apocalyptic, just very, very bizarre 80s flick. Um, it is, I, I don't even know where to start to describe this film. But um, let's just say that it's set in a post-apocalyptic landscape. Everyone's in different weird factions that that are bizarre as all hell. Um, it centers around these two brothers, I believe they are. They travel to the city. They uh, There's this gang of people going around raping and killing people. They get mixed up in it. And um, the brother gets kidnapped. And then the one surviving brother, he tries to go rescue him. But he runs afoul to an Amazon group of women led by uh, Sandel Bergman of Conan the Barbarian fame. And uh, things happen. <laughs> I can't describe this damn movie. Things happen, crazy things that just do not make sense and are just totally out there. And th then they, they rescue the brother and they bring down this evil gang of people that are raping and pillaging, like I said before. And then this Sandel Bergman's character starts to fall in love with the one brother. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of crazy action fun. But um, yeah, the movie's just crazy. It's, it's insane. Like, I mean, there's a part where they're, I don't even know how they ended up in this place. There's like a, a vampire sleepover or something going on, and they wake up in the middle of it and have to fight their way out. It's just, there's weird stuff around every corner of this film. It really is one of those those uh, post-apocalyptic 80s movies that came out after Escape from New York came out and everyone just wanted to make their own version of that. And this is one of the ones that came out of it, of that whole craze. And I think the thing that really holds it all together for me is that I'm a huge Sandal Bergman fan. Um, uh, she just blew me away in Conan the Barbarian and I fell in love with that chick and I said, you know what, she's okay in my book. Anything she does, even schlock like this, I will love. And she does a great job in this one actually as one of the leads. She really has, um, I mean, she's just an athletic woman who's got screen presence and really can kick a lot of ass. So she does an amazing job in this kind of barbarian landscape, if you will. And she just kicks ass, takes names, and um, the other guy, he, he's, he's okay, but um, yeah, her, the main pull is her. I don't know if his name's Quinn Kessler. He's just kind of like a, oh, he's a muscle dude. He does, didn't do much for me, but he does a good job as the one of the heroes in the film. But she's pretty badass, and some of the action's pretty cool. Um, the set pieces are engaging. And the world is the main, one of the main pulls of the film is just how odd and bizarre and unusual it all is. Just the gangs, the different factions, um, it's just all weird. It's really out there and they just kind of, there's no holding back in its strangeness. It just goes all in and it, it doesn't give a shit either way. Um, but yeah, the movie is fun. Character interactions are great. It's just an entertaining film. So if you're looking for a mid '80s um, action post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic film, definitely give it a look. Um, I picked up this little baby on Blu-ray from the Kino Lorber sale. Um, it's great stuff. I don't think this has ever really been on any video release, so this is probably the first time it's been out there, and it definitely deserves a look. It is probably not one of the best post-apocalyptic films, but it's right up there with one of the weirdest. I mean, maybe A Boy and His Dog is up there as the weirdest. There's a shitload of them. I mean, I guess the whole post-apocalyptic 80s um, boom was nothing but weird films. I mean, every film had to outdo the other in weirdness. 
But um, yep, this one entertains, and that's all I was looking for, for a night of entertainment in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Because apparently, that's going to be coming our way pretty soon. So get set, guys. Um, but that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I hope you uh, like what I'm doing here. I hope you're surviving out there. I hope you're alive and still loving movies, because in the end, that's all that matters. But guys, take care. Stay out of trouble. Um, stay healthy and I will see you guys the next time I'm in front of a camera talking about movies. Take care. Get the hell out. Later.